Hi, this is Dr. Habib. Today I want to talk about biohacking the brain. Well, what's the problem? The problems are anywhere from anxiety, depression, ADHD, to memory problems. The memory problems could be from traumatic brain injury or multi-infarct strokes, or just with the aging process, people's function decline. Well, how do you evaluate these things? Well, what's in common about all of these conditions is blood flow. What's synonymous with almost all of the neurological spectrum is a decrease in blood flow. So you have to have the tools to measure the blood flow. And we do that through analysis of the electrical firing. When you put a cap on somebody's head and you've got electrodes all over and you go through certain tasks, now you're able to decipher the electrical function the speed of that brain function, the voltage, and indirectly you can map that out to get the blood flow. And each condition has a different pattern. And the main thing to understand is that without the electrical stimulation, you don't get the blood flow. Without the blood flow, you don't get the circulation and the repair and the recovery that the brain needs. And in order to achieve that, biohacking the brain can be done through electrical stimulation. There is enough evidence now that it's FDA approved for depression. What the electrical stimulation does is a couple of magnetic coils put together and the electricity that is generated through those coils releases a field where electrical impulse can go through the skull into the brain and the depth can be calculated through a special algorithm. And the positioning of this, uh, of this magnetic field allows us to stimulate the brain through electrical fields. And the amazing thing about it is that from that electrical stimulation, you get the blood flow, the CSF start to move, and you can get recovery in conditions like uh, the uh, depression. But in addition to that, you can optimize executive brain function. You can start to help in cases where after the stroke, the brain has lost its function. So in short, what I'm saying here is that blood flow is common to almost all of the neurological spectrums, and there's a lot out there. And the optimal ways to evaluate some idea of understanding the distribution of that electrical impulse, the strength of it, and the blood flow indirectly. And then to biohack, you can do that through electrical stimulation. And that electrical stimulation is the way to get into the brain without breaching any other blood brain barriers. So if you'd like to get evaluated and get the therapy, click the link in the bio.